you remember that Red Rock Road that I filmed just before Christmas? Well, today we're going back with three Sports Series McLaren and Bruno Senna in his 675 LT Spider. Let's hit it. in Bruno's lovely McLaren 675LT Spider, which you've had for how long now? Uh, since December, so it's, it's almost pretty fresh. Yeah. Pretty fresh. Have you done any like proper mileage in it yet? No, it's got uh, 1,200 kilometers. So am I honored to be on one of your first road trips in this car? Indeed, yeah. I only took the motorway once, and now we've <laughs> taken the motorway about three times the same one, because, you know, we're good in the directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a minute ago, we glanced past a McDonald's sign, and we both looked at each other like, I think we should. I think we should do that. This is proper race driver diet. Proper stuff. Anyway, the idea of the day is that we're going to go back to the Red Rock Road. When we were on ice driving together, I mentioned it to Bruno and he was like, next time you're in town, let's go out there. So I'm in town and we're going there. It's a man that keeps his promises. Absolutely. I yeah. like it. Let's do it. So there's a guy who's lived in his Mercedes for seven years. Mm. I think it's somewhere in Eastern Europe or Russia somewhere. And he doesn't, he's never stepped outside? No. What's no. he do for the toilet? No, for uh, I think he has like a little sort of like. It, it, I didn't watch the whole video because I kind of like got a bit bored. But hard to stand up though and do whatever you got to do, right? Well, I guess. But like on the back of his car is like a little bed. It's like a Mercedes Estate thing. Okay. And Not even the, a Sprinter van. <laughs> no, no. And um, he goes to the places and they wash the car. Everything he does, he does inside the car. It's impressive. For seven years. So the guy who was with him was asking him, so what happens if you have a puncture somewhere yeah. in the middle of nowhere? Mm. Like, well, I haven't thought about it, but it never happened to me. How does he change his tires? He goes on the ramp, stays in the car. Someone does it for him. Awkward conversation that when you turn up. Can we change the tires? Yes, yeah, sure. So if you want to wait in the waiting room, we'll have it done for you. Oh no, I'll just stay in the car. <laughs> yeah, no. I saw it a couple of days ago. Somehow this came up on my suggested yeah, videos. See, see. Mm. Does that say something that about That says my... a lot about the sort of stuff that you search for. <laughs> <laughs> In just a matter of months, I have returned to my favorite driving road in the whole of Europe. Not saying that I've driven every road in Europe just yet, but from the ones I've driven, this is way, way, way up there. And fantastically, I've been able to bring back a McLaren. Not mine, that's gonna be later on in the year. But the last time I was here, I thought, you know what? A McLaren on this road is gonna be fantastic to have that extra torque to really pull me out of these fabulous corners. Also, I'm following Sam from Seen Through Glass in the beautiful red 540C, and I am now in the track pack version of the 570S. I cannot wait for this. Okay. Active, manual, ESC off. I always brace myself for this road because it is that good. Let's do it. quite familiar with this road these days but every time I come back oh! you know what's fantastic is though oh my god once you become familiar with a road all you gotta do is bring a different car back and then it becomes a whole new experience but last time I was here I was on my own no other cars to play with but up front I've got Sam in this beautiful 540C which sounds fantastic. And just to be able to be up here on a road like this to play, oh, play with your mates like this is so special. Cars like 
like this, you wouldn't want a hypercar here. You wouldn't want anything like a Koenigsegg or even a Ventador. It'd just be too big and clumsy. This is such a tight, narrow road. Oh, good Lord. And the torque, the torque that the 570 offers is, I would arguably say, is perfectly matched. Oh my God, it's perfectly matched for the job. It's just relentless. You keep this thing in the boost, woo, and listen to it. Listen to the sound of it. Woo now what I am in is the track pack. It does have an exaggerated wing on the rear end, which provides more stability at higher speeds. Oh, oh my days! <laughs> but when you're under straight line performance and you're under heavier braking or longer sweeping turns, that extra downforce from the, the lip at the back just provides a more stable... I'm s sorry, it's taking all of my concentration this road. Yes! <laughs> the other thing we're on is winter tyres. Which you would say for early March you probably would need amongst the mountains. But as with this part of the world, it's beautiful, it's 25 degrees and dry. What it does allow for is this car to step out of it. <laughs> Honestly, every time I get in a 570, I question, I question what more you need. This is coming from an LT owner. I regularly drive my LT and every time I'm in it, I'm absolutely lost for words. This thing, it punches so far above its weight. What an experience. Wow, have Sam's just put his thumbs up out of the window. I need to come down from that. <laughs> That is the How most good is that road? ridiculous experience. It's the most ever. obscene I've road ever. I completely forgotten how, how ridiculous absurd it is. is right? but these cars. How good are they? Oh my god, blowing my mind. Blow me blown away. My, I, and I literally was doing a piece of camera and I was like, I don't understand how this can be better. Be it better. Than that. It's unreal. Makes it's no absolutely sense. Absolutely phenomenal. I was just saying I could tell that this is on the sort of winter bias yes, tire. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I do have a bit of understeer, yeah, <laughs> and under under, under brakes, those tread blocks are pretty spongy. Okay. And I'm like, <laughs> other than that, it's just. <laughs> Are we swapping or you want to drive this one back? Let's swap. You Let's can swap. drive this okay, back. Yes. So in Sam's video, he's doing a comparison of these two cars. So rather than me doing exactly the same thing, head on over to his channel and check out what he thinks of 570 versus 540. And uh, hopefully I'm going to go for a swift run with Bruno Sam. <laughs> popular videos is me losing my mind <laughs> when I drove one of these for the first time. So I'm intrigued to hear what you think. You being a racing driver, what is your take upon this car when you drive on the road? Because for me, I just lost it. I thought it was immense. You're totally right. I mean, this is as close as a, a road car gets to a race car and still be like usable on the road. Of course, there's radicals and things like these that are yeah. road legal, but they are you know, you cannot do of a course, long trip yeah, on yeah, them, you you're going crazy. Trip but this is so, so good. It just gives you so much feeling to the steering wheel. It's amazing. It's so it? effortlessly quick as well. You know, yeah. suddenly it, these cars are becoming too fast almost for the road. Oh, man. But yeah. the pleasure to give you while they're driving them, even if you're not pushing so hard, yeah. it's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's really like an amazing road to test this car out. You don't have to be going very fast to feel yeah. what the chassis can be provided. So congratulations, thank you for bringing me here, I love it. Some of you I might not have seen, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Do you know what, hopping out of the 570, when I was in that, I was like, 
there's no way you need anything more than this. This thing's amazing until you jump in this and then you're like, oh, <laughs> actually, I, I don't know how they increase it so much. It's just madness. It's just madness and it's so loud. What is the drama levels? I mean, check this out. Endless joy. So crazy. Yeah, so for those of you who might not have caught the video, myself and Bruno first met when we went ice driving in uh, Finland with the 570S. Yes. Which was awesome. And we kind of bonded over the fact that we both have LTs and both think it's, it's fantastic. And I sort of said, you know, when we both get back, let's go for a drive. I'll take you to this great road. The funny thing is, it's only about an hour from where you live. Yeah. And he hadn't even heard of it. So I was like, we've got to go here. One month later, here we are. I know, you're super happy about that. I'm super happy too. I, I thought that you were going to be with your, your LT, but I, I know, know, I know. You have to come later in the year I with will. your car. So I'm bringing my LT down in April. So if you're not racing somewhere around the world, let's come back. Absolutely. There's just so much power. Ah, the torque. It's almost tangible, the torque. It's like a thick ball of torque. Putty, you know, and then you can the nose just is laser guided. You can just like bring the steering if you need yeah. a little bit more, it just turns it. I think the best thing about it is just how much confidence it gives you on roads like this. On the track, is the same thing, you can just yeah. have this extra confidence on the car, and yeah, that's yeah. what made me fall in love with it. The first time I drove it, I said, I, I must buy this car, <laughs> and uh, yeah. About a year and a half later, I had I had mine. Yeah. It took a bit longer than I wanted it to do, but uh, I think the waiting list for the car was pretty long. Oh, I went through the nice. whole process, which is very cool with McLaren. Is that yeah, specking your car. You go right. there, you spend a day with the guys at MSO, and yeah, you, yeah, they will let you do anything you want. It's amazing the and amount uh, of customization you can do with MSO is endless. It is. I mean, they can they, they let you do anything you want, yeah. and you know, within reason, of course. You know, whatever you want to do, they will. They'll try to cater to your needs. Yeah. My car, I got the dials in the colors of my helmet. It's yeah. just uh, one of those things that you it makes the car extra special to you. So we're approaching the end of the day. We both have to get back. You need to go back home, and I need me to edit. So uh, let's edit. How it help? Seamless transition. Just been dropped off in the dark by Bruno. So we've hopped directly in the Twizy. We're gonna hop into town to finish this day off with a fine pizza. Favorite car to drive into town. You think I'm joking, like- No, I'm not joking. All, all these supercars you see around town, they all have problems parking. You watch where we park later. We already had a test run at this a couple of days ago, didn't we? Yeah, just move the cones. Move the cones and slot it in. We can get in there, can't we? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll wave you in. Right. Sort it out. To go. You got loads of them down yeah. here. Yo, oh, mate, definitely. Sorted, mate. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> Open the gull wing doors. There we go. What do you think about that? I've got to allow you to get out there. <laughs> oh, actually. <laughs> think about that. You look baller. What, what, what do you think about that? Amazing. Look at the size of it. <laughs> it's the size <laughs> of you, literally. It's so good. Look at it, it's tiny. Put a smile on your face. I can't believe we've just turned up in that. It's <laughs> absolutely micro machine. All right, it's pizza time. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.